power and masculinity. Two words often associated, but why? Why is it that in a world majorly populated by women, we often idolize masculinity and the typical strength that follows? You see, as a young girl, I was told that because I was a girl, I should stay quiet. I should keep my opinions to myself. I should be seen more than I am heard. And for a long time, I, like many other girls my age, did my best to comply. But then I turned 13, and like all mature teenagers, I made some questionable decisions. I had experienced and witnessed women being put down for my entire life. So I decided I would change. I changed my clothes and I cut my hair, and I may have loved it at the time, but it just wasn't me. And other people seemed to think so too, because any comments I faced changed from you act like a girl, walk like a girl, run like a girl, talk like a girl, to why are you trying to be a boy? But here I stand, having embraced what makes me feminine, as I suggest you all do. Because we as a society often don't embrace what truly makes us ourselves. To paraphrase Gloria Steinem, we often have the courage to raise our daughters as we do our sons, but rarely the courage to raise our sons as we do our daughters. But just as a woman can command a room in a pink skirt, a man should be able to be a CEO in pink lipstick and bright nail polish. These notions of power being feminine are still prevalent in society today, but it is undeniable that we as a collective have taken a step towards equality. We're allowing what makes us ourselves to thrive. To see generations allow their true selves to exist is art embodied in life. Still, we have a long way to go. Women and girls in countries all across the globe are being denied basic human rights because they are women and because they are girls. But how can we be free when all of us are not? How can we all succeed when so many of us are being held back? So think about this again, power and masculinity, two words often associated. But here's two other words often associated. Because if power can only be masculine, why do we name our storms after women?